Hello dear students, welcome to chemistry class. In this class we are discussing about a, one of the named reaction that is a Fry's rearrangement. Fry's rearrangement and it involves the rearrangement of phenolic esters to phenolic ketones with the migration of acyl group that is RCO group to the ortho and para position of the benzene ring. And here we are using anhydrous AlCl3 as a catalyst for this rearrangement. This Fry's rearrangement involves the rearrangement of phenolic ester to phenolic ketone in presence of anhydrous AlCl3 as a catalyst and here the acyl group that is RCO group will migrate to the ortho and para position of the benzene ring. And here we can explain this one by taking a general example OCOR. This one is in phenolic ester because here ester group is there R C double bond O O R dash. When it is treated with anhydrous AlCl3 this acyl group RCO group will migrate to the ortho and para position of the benzene ring. This rearrangement of the phenolic ester to phenolic ketone, these both are phenolic ketones is called Fry's rearrangement. The rearrangement of phenolic ester to the phenolic ketones in presence of anhydrous AlCl3 is called Fry's rearrangement. And here we are getting this one as a ortho isomer and this one para isomer. And we know that the formation of a product major and minor product completely depends on the reaction conditions. Reactions conditions take for example a temperature temperature and here this ortho isomer ortho isomer is a major product only at high temperature ortho isomer is a major product only at high temperature at about 160 degree celsius or more than 160 degree celsius therefore we can call this ortho isomer as a thermodynamically powered product thermodynamically powered product is a ortho isomer and the para isomer is a major product only at low temperature only at low temperature that is at about 60 degree celsius or less than 60 degree celsius if the reaction condition is there at 60 or less than 60 degree Celsius, we are getting para isomer as a major product. Okay? And therefore, we can call this one as a kinetically controlled product, kinetically controlled product. Okay? Fry's rearrangement involves the rearrangement of phenolic ester to the phenolic ketones with the migration of acyl group to the ortho and para position and here we are using the catalyst anhydrous AlCl3 and uh, another point is that this AlCl3 is acting as a Lewis acid. Lewis acid means acceptor of a pair of a electron. This AlCl3 will accept a pair of electron from the benzene ring and will act as a Lewis acid and it is a catalyst. And here I am taking one simple example to explain this reaction. O CO CS3. This one is a phenyl acetate, phenyl acetate. When it is treated with Al, sorry, AlCl3, anhydrous AlCl3, we will get a two isomers COCH3 plus OH CO CS3. This one is a sorry ortho hydroxy acetophenone 
this one is a orthohydroxy acetophenone and this one is a para hydroxy acetophenone how we are naming these two here consider this one group as a main group and with respect to this group this oh group is attached to the ortho carbon this carbon and this carbon are ortho carbons na therefore we are naming this one as a ortho hydroxy ortho hydroxy and this one is acetophenone and here with respect to this one this hydroxyl group is present on the para carbon therefore para hydroxy acetophenone okay this is the example for this fries rearrangement then now we will discuss about the mechanism of this fries rearrangement and here this fries rearrangement mechanism is not certain means it is containing two types of mechanisms the first one is intermolecular mechanism and the second one is intramolecular mechanism the first one is intermolecular mechanism and the second one is intramolecular mechanism first we will discuss about this one intermolecular mechanism and here our starting material and here i am explaining this mechanism by taking an example of a phenyl acetate phenyl acetate here our starting material is this one c double bond o ch3 phenyl acetate and when this phenyl acetate is treated with anhydrous alcl3 this alcl3 will act as a lewis acid and it will abstract a proton from the proton sorry electron from the electron donor that is oxygen of the benzene ring here this oxygen is having two lone pairs of electrons and it can donate one of the electron to the pair of an electron to the alcl3 and it forms a new bond here i am writing c double bond o ch3 al cl3 and this al cl3 will get a negative charge because after getting an extra pair of electron it will get a negative charge and this oxygen which is having a single electron pair and forming three bonds is unstable and it it is having positive charge and the next step involves this oxygen atom which is more electronegative atom as compared to the carbon is bearing positive charge therefore it wants to get its stability back therefore it will drag this bonded pair of electron the oxygen and carbon bonded pair of electron towards itself and the elimination of acyl group takes place elimination of acyl group oxygen with two lone pair of electron then here al cl3 with a negative charge and the loss of acyl group takes place cs3 co plus acyl group and here i am rewriting that one c double bond o cs3 and here the carbon is having only three bonds 1 2 3 therefore it is getting positive charge after the breakage of this bond this carbon will get only three bonds therefore it is an electron deficient species and now the delocalization takes place one of the lone pair of electrons from the oxygen starts delocalizing towards the benzene ring and this carbon oxygen is having now double bond and we know that the carbon with only four bond is stable and after getting extra fifth bond it wants to get its stability by donating this extra bonded pair of electron towards the electron deficient carbon therefore new bond formation takes place here double bond o al cl3 minus and this oxygen with a three bond and this extra pair of an electron gets positive charge and here already one hydrogen is there and a co ch3 co ch3 then now back bonding takes place this oxygen is connecting to the carbon which is more electronegative as compared to the carbon will drag this bonded pair of electron towards itself and hence this carbon will leave only with the three bonds therefore it becomes unstable and it will drag this bonded pair of electron towards itself and here deprotonation takes place loss of a proton co ch3 single o 
two lone pairs of electrons and Al Cl3 and here Al is there with a negative charge because extra pair of an electron. Then we know that the loss of proton is there then that proton is there in the reaction medium only. Then now this oxygen will abstract this proton by donating a pair of an electron lone pair of an electron then this bond will shift towards the oxygen and here loss of that catalyst that is AlCl3 takes place with the formation of our desired product that is a final product orthohydroxy acetophenone orthohydroxy acetophenone orthohydroxy acetophenone see here we are starting with phenyl acetate and we are ending with orthohydroxy acetophenone here this acyl group is migrating towards the ortho position ok. Then here we are using AlCl3 as a catalyst like this we can write the reaction mechanism for the para isomer also. Here in, instead of attacking this bond we have to attack this one see here from this point I am writing and no doubt in exam if they ask uh, the particularly the reaction mechanism for the para isomer or ortho isomer we can write the particular reaction mechanism. If they are asking in general we have to write any of these two isomer reaction mechanisms ok. Then I am starting with this one or I will start from this one no, no problem. Our starting material is CH3 then here this oxygen is donating a pair of electron towards the aluminum and it is a forming a new bond O C double bond O CH3 plus this AlCl3 will get a negative charge then in next step this will drag this bonded pair of electron and a loss of acylium ion takes place or the elimination of a silium ion takes place AlCl3 with a negative charge the C double bond O CS3 plus. Then now this oxygen will donate one of the lone pair of electron towards this bond then this bond will migrate and you know that the delocalization ok and this bond will attack on the carbon. And here we will get a double bond H C O C H 3 double bond O plus A L C L 3 minus ok. Then now back bonding takes place with the loss of proton, loss of proton it forms. COCH3 single bond O AlCl3 minus ok and we know that this proton is there in the reaction medium only then this oxygen will abstract that proton and it will drag this bonded for of a electron towards itself and here the loss of AlCl3 takes place giving back the final product COCS3 that is a para hydroxy acetophenone ferrohydroxy acetophenone. Dear students this is the reaction mechanism of Fry's rearrangement that to intermolecular reaction mechanism for ortho isomer and for a para isomer. Then now we will discuss about the reaction mechanism the second reaction mechanism that is a sorry intramolecular reaction mechanism. The second one reaction mechanism for the Fry's rearrangement is intramolecular reaction mechanism and for this also we have discussing here for ortho isomer as well as a para isomer and here also our starting material is O C double bond O CH3. AlCl3 and this oxygen will donate a pair of electron to the electron deficient aluminum of aluminum trichloride and it forms a new bond 
C sorry O C double bond O C S three plus this A L C L three will get a negative charge. Then this oxygen will get a positive charge because it is having three bonds. The maximum bonding capacity for oxygen is only two. Then now this oxygen being more electronegative in nature as compared to the carbon will drag this bonded froth electron towards itself and hence here it is having an extra pair of an electron. Then that extra pair of electron will donate to this oxygen carbon single bond and here the carbon already is having 4 bonds with pi bond it becomes unstable and it will break this pi bond and these pi electrons will move towards the carbon. Therefore, here the intramolecular reaction mechanism is taking place. Once again I am explaining this one, this oxygen will drag this bonded pair of electron towards itself and hence here those 2 lone pairs of electrons are there. Then the oxygen will donate one of the lone pair of electron towards the oxygen carbon single bond and this carbon with phi bond becomes unstable and it will donate one of the pi electron towards the carbon and forms a new bond with the carbon of acyl group. Double bond COCH3 H double bond O Al Cl3 minus plus. Okay. Here also no doubt we are getting the same intermediate in intermolecular mechanism also we are getting this one and in intramolecular mechanism also we are getting the same intermediate. Then now back bonding takes place and this will shift towards this one deprotonation it is a loss of proton and this proton this proton then dragged by the oxygen atom and this bond will break which gives the final product OH CO CS3. After the loss of AlCl3 we will get a ortho hydroxy acetophenone ortho hydroxy acetophenone this is an intramolecular mechanism for the Fry's rearrangement for the formation of an ortho hydroxy acetophenone then for para hydroxy acetophenone c double bond o ch3 alcl3 o C double bond O C S three plus A L C L three minus then this bond this oxygen carbon bond will break and the bonded electrons will move towards the more electronegative oxygen atom and the extra pair of electron will move towards the oxygen carbon single bond and this bond will delocalize towards the C two C three carbon and this bond will abstract now the carbon or attack on the carbon. H C O C S three double bond O A L C L three minus. Okay. Then back bonding takes place with the loss of proton. With the loss of proton. C O C S three single bond. AlCl3 then that a proton in the last step dragged by the oxygen and this oxygen aluminum bond is breaking and after the loss of AlCl3 we will get the final product COCS3 OH that is a para hydroxy acetophenone para hydroxy acetophenone Okay. This is the reaction mechanism for intramolecular migration of acyl group to the ortho and para position of benzene ring in presence of an AlCl3 as a catalyst. Okay. 
uh, in exam if they ask particularly to write the intermolecular mechanism or intramolecular mechanism there we have to write a particular mechanism if they are not mentioning any type of a mechanism if they are uh, just asking explain Fry's rearrangement with mechanism then you can follow any of these two mechanisms okay thank you